Hello everyone. Uh, so at this moment, I will teach you and show you how to make a urban density map. So basically, how urbanized the area is using a spectral index and convolution. So what I show is the results. But I think I'm going to start uh, with the with the start. Okay. So basically, I we do as usual. You know, uh, in my previous video, like we create a cloud composite, a cloudless uh, image composite. You know, so that image will be cloud free. This is the result. If you follow my video from before, you know you know how this works. And this is the function I use. So I just filter the date, I filter the area, the number of fault mass, then I apply median producer, then I clip the area. So the result will be this kind of image. This uh this uh, area in Jakarta. So what I do. And I show the image. So I'm using Lancet 9 here. You can use Lancet 8, Lancet 9, it doesn't matter actually because the band's uh, name is the same. And after that, I create a spectral indices, you know, I get an NDBI or almost different build up index and NBR2. So NBR2 is basically is from uh, Lancet, NBR2 Lancet. Yeah, I don't know why this thing is work because in my experience, I'm using NBR2, this kind of help differentiate between bare area and build up, you know. So I'm going to use it again in this. Uh, it is research. This is modeling. So I create that. Then I create a build up area. So this is the index first, the index that I create, the NDBI. There's the result. So you know that one is more build up area. Then this is NBR2. NBR is basically like almost more about you know how vegetate the area is. But we can also use it to help with the bareness index. And then after that, we apply a relational operation, you know. If NDBI is above z z minus 0 0.1 and NBR2 is lower than 0 0.2, then it's a build up area, which is match. The reason that I'm using NBR2 is that sometimes when I'm using only build up area, uh, NBB, NDBI, uh, this area, you know, this uh, Udung Kidul area, it show up as a build up area. You know? Although that is a soil, that's the problem. Like this uh, yellowish stuff is considered a, a, uh, like build up, although it's not. So that's why I use NBR as a helper. And then after that, uh, the cricket build up area, which is this, this red stuff, I can apply convolution. Basic convolution is that he, uh, each pixel will calculate the neighbor of pixel uh, they're located in here. I'm using a uh, three neighbor, so he will count three neighbor of his, like on the left, on the top, right, and left, and diagonally. They will calculate the mean value. Why I'm using mean? Uh, because, well, the value of build up is one, so just mean the value. It's very simple. And after that, I will project it back to a PSG4026 or VGS4884 uh, using scale 30 meter because if, there you, if you do a focal op operation, the there will be no projection again. <laughs> so you have to reproject it again. And this is the result, urban density index. So, you know, the red one is more dense, you know, and black is not a built up area and purple is sort of built up area, not really. I mean, you can call this urban density index you know, or urbanus index, you call it. It's very, you can use it, for example, like when you try to uh, correlate between uh, up area and LST, you know, as a separator or how many degraded or many, how many uh, de degradation uh, of the environmental degradation in the area. You can use this map for a lot of things. So, yeah, I think that's the video. You can try it yourself or share the code and please like and subscribe. <laughs> sure. Bye.